my name is Chris McLadry. I've got a Master's in Environmental Science from ECT, PhD in Tourism from um, University of Pretoria. And I'm a resident of Marlith Park, so I'm a concerned citizen. The mine is so wrong at so many levels. And um, the first one is that the, the mining people are saying that they're going to be hundreds and vast amounts of jobs, and that's absolutely not true. If you read the Environmental Impact Assessment Report, they're only going to create 100 jobs in total, of which only 50 are actually going to be for unskilled people, in other words, people from the local community. So they are feeding a lie to a lot of people um, from that point of view. The other thing is if we talk about 50 jobs, we've got over 9,000 people. We've just completed a survey now in July of, of, amongst all the people in the affected area. And we've actually got over 9,000 people employed full time in agriculture and or tourism. So if you look at 9,000 jobs which potentially could be lost because the mine obviously is going to extract all the groundwater, we're going to have acid mine drainage, not to mention all the air pollution and so on. So from an agricultural point of view and from a um, tourism point of view, it will completely change the nature of this place and a lot of people will lose their jobs. Um, I'm particularly angry in terms of the way the environmental impact assessment has been conducted. Singer consultants have lied continuously about their qualifications, their experience, their professional affiliations. So it's, it looks like a very rushed job. It's not based on any good scientific evidence. If you look at the geological surveys, there is no coal in the vast half section of the area they've applied for. None. You know, um, there was an Australian company that came in a few years ago who prospected on the Kangwani coal field and they actually found, they had the rights to mine the area and they actually found that the quality of the coal was so poor that it wasn't economically viable. So there really, is, there are no grounds for, for, for this mine to go ahead. Lots of people will lose their jobs. I mean, we haven't even started of the impact on the Kruger National Park and the people here. So I'm really opposed to it and I really think the more people that stand together and stop this mine, the better.